We choose to encourage global learning at Bankside because we believe that our children are the citizens of the future. So I am very ambitious for our children to understand about the world far, far beyond the confines of LS8. And the value of global learning, well, brings a sense, I think, of equality and justice. And most of all, it gives them a sense of moral purpose, which I believe is incredibly important if we want to build and invest in our future. We are Bankside School. We have written a poem about children's rights. Children's rights. C. Children of the world should have rights. H. Humans have the rights to make mistakes and to be helped. I. Injustice should not have a place in our world. L. Love and be cared for and respected. D. Don't be silent to injustice. R. Right to have fun, right to be a child. Right to have fun, right to be a child. Right to have fun, right to be a child. E. Education is right for all. Ed. No child should suffer exploitation. S. Share medical care for children in need. Racism has no place in our world. I. I, you and we will speak up for global injustice. G. Global leaders should collaborate. H. How can the GA help the poor? T. To have loads of food in one country and none in another is unjust. S. Soul searching for your inner voice. Children's rights. Children's rights. Children's rights! Children's rights! Children's rights! Because we place such value on Global Learning at Bankside, we deliver it via direct curriculum delivery, so all the school courses around PSHC have elements of global learning. Children's rights are for every child in the world. We hope our poem will inspire your school to write a global learning charter. This charter will show how your school is committed to pupils learning about the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. This will support your school's anti-racist, fair trade and international schools work. It promotes the role of the global education, which develops knowledge and understanding skills, values and attitude across eight concepts of Global citizenship, how we can become informed, active and responsible global citizens. Social justice, how and why social justice is important to sustainable development and the improved welfare of all people. Sustainable development, the need to have a good quality of life now without damaging the planet for future generations. Human rights. Knowing about universal human rights and responsibilities and some of the international safeguards that exist. Conflict resolution. Understanding the nature of conflicts and how they impact development. Also understanding why conflicts need to be resolved and peace and harmony needs to be promoted. Values and perceptions. It's important to reflect on our own values and perspectives in order to see that there are many ways of looking at the world. Interdependence, understanding how people, places, economies and environments are all interconnected. Our choices affect other people and places. Diversity, appreciating the similarities and differences between people everywhere and learning to value diversity. School Council are pivotal in the, in the leading of, of global learning in this school, so they discuss it in all their weekly meetings. Their views, their ideas are minuted. Those minutes are shared not just with the class teachers, but with all the members of the school community. I want the children at Bankside to be loud and proud 
and I also want them to shine. So to give them this platform of global learning as a place in which they can quite literally make contact with very important people, people who work in politics, people who work in campaigning, I think that is a platform of success. So the impact is it creates confident children because I want to have children leaving the school have a real sense of self, a real sense of purpose. And if they do that, you know what? Our standards go up, we get good officers. So I'm a very happy head teacher all round. Many schools are making sure that global learning is embedded across the curriculum. This means pupils have a deeper understanding and experience of what it means to be a global citizen. Both secondary and primary schools are involving their pupils to teach each other about the global issues. Support and opportunities are available to your school through CPD, tailor-made training, international curriculum support, resources, workshops and peer education toolkits. Thank you for watching.